we, we tend to think that we have to have this passion, this, you know, this thing that motivates us to do everything. But in reality, it's just what's exciting right now? What can move us forward? And maybe we have a big idea, you know? I want to be happy or, you know, I, I want to help people communicate better, whatever that is. But we don't really have this, this is my purpose in life. It just, life is more fluid than that. And we've kind of been taught that it isn't. And you're supposed to have a goal and you're supposed to plan all these steps in advance. And that's just not the way it is. There is so much free thought being shared right now, globally. You know, it's, it's not just setting the, the playing field for, for people in the United States or Europe. It's just, it's a global movement. There's less of a, a separation between people and technology. The more and more people are going to have access in the world, regardless of the digital divide, simply because many of the developing countries um, aren't getting those landlines put in. They're, they're, they're already on mobile. You see this trend occurring in, in all facets of our lives. You know, there's fewer editors, there's fewer um, speed bumps between your idea and other people. If you don't think you're gonna be going to school and every kid in your class is gonna be live streaming to the internet in the next 36 months, then you're not paying attention to the trends. All the computers they had at NASA to go to the moon had less computing power than is in an iPhone. Really? Yeah, really, so. Really? Yeah, really. The first airplanes were built with bicycle parts. And you, you went from bicycle parts to airplanes, you got to that. So I, I tell as many people as possible, including myself at times, that these are the bicycle parts we're playing with. What we get to is gonna be so, something totally different. We're noticing it in little fits and starts, not all at once, because it's really the gradual revolution, not the instant revolution. Frankly, I've never seen more productivity in the creative uh, world than, than now. You know, so it seems that there, there isn't just a bunch of you know, sort of computer potatoes out there reading blogs, that there's an enormous amount of energy out there.